Start your day with silly and safe. Start your day with sassy and sage. Sincerely, simply. Seriously Serial. The Serial Marathon. Everyone is welcome here. <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm Maxwell. And I'm Brienne, one of Maxwell's moms. Welcome to Seriously Serial. Episode number... Seriously Serial is made possible by viewers like you. And by Blue Legacy, a volunteer-run nonprofit dedicated to bringing people together. Find out more at... www.seriouslyserial.org. That's right, Spoonie. If you prefer your cereal dry, then you're a snacker, like our buddy, Bowler. <laughs> Hello! Or if you prefer your cereal with milk, then you are a spooner, like our pal, Spoonie, who is also CSC Sales Director. Normally, every month we post episodes with a theme. But for the next few weeks, we'll be hosting the Seriously Serial Marathon. <laughs> Instead of one long episode on Saturday, we'll have several shorter episodes throughout the week. Our awesome Time to Create, Time to Learn, Time to Move, and Time to Read segments will return in August. And Fork a Million and Bowler telling us about nutrition and pricing will also return in August. So in the meantime, we'll stay fast to keep the marathon going. Without further ado, today's cereal is... Icy cereal. Do you think that'll fit through strong? <laughs> Probably not. Alright, so first of all, let's get on those. Alright, and mm. second of all, <laughs> let me go into the last cereal that promoted a cools your mouth while you eat effect. So concerning. Yeah, first of all, it's concerning that that's even a thing. Second of all, it didn't cool my mouth so much so as it just tasted like weird dyes and chemicals. Basically, I basically one tier down from Funko cereal, which for any of you who don't know by now, they kind of go a bit overboard with the dye and that gives it a pretty weird aftertaste. Inedible like, yeah. taste. Yeah. <laughs> It's consistent. Prior taste, aftertaste, current taste. <laughs> the whole yeah, thing. Flavor in general, but... Yeah, the, the cooling effect I first ran into it actually with Kool-Aid, like I want to say back oh, in the early 2000s really? or something. Hmm. And it was bad. Yeah. yeah, it was supposed to like make the Kool-Aid seem colder, and it just mm. made it seem weird. If you, if you want, I mean, if you want the Kool-Aid <laughs> to be colder, just like, have it with ice, right? right why does that was kind of my cool? feeling. Use the fridge. At the very least, well, first of all, I really like ICs. I used to get them all the time when I was a kid from like uh, fast food places. Uh, wasn't it like Burger King that had this brand? I seem to. I remember the pole. Yeah, I believe they the still do yeah. actually. Yeah. Yeah, I think some Subways me too. Yeah, oh I think some, yeah, Subway. some various fast food chains mm -hmm. carry yeah. ICs. Yeah. yeah. So uh, yeah, so I do. I do definitely like ICs, and this one actually does like promote like a cherry and blue raspberry flavor so it might like the fruity flavor might help a little bit here because i think the last one was like an elf on the shelf like i want to say peppermint flavor and that one was a little but i actually kind of you know i wonder i wonder if it was the pepper if that if, if this is the one i'm remembering and it was peppermint well i feel like i don't know i think the elf on the shelf was uh sugar cookie what's sugar cookie they've had so, so many i can't keep yeah. track but I wonder if maybe if it was the peppermint one, I, I'll have to mm -hmm. check. Uh, if it was the maybe it was the peppermint, benefit of a doubt. I really doubt it, but like, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Mm. And we'll icy. Mm -hmm. Have you guys tried uh, actual ices? By the way, they have so many cool flavors. They have like uh, Coca Cola. They have cherry. But I think that was like a banana one once. I'd love to hear of you. Like, oh sh man. Time to taste already. Shoot. All right. I hope I wait for no one. Well, snackers and spooners. <laughs> Start your engines. All right. Well. Do I have to? to. <laughs> mm, 
very medicinal scent right off the bat. Before I try them, <laughs> uh, so we have this one. This one's the red one. Yeah, and we have cherry, this. This is the blue one. Blue raspberry. And then we have these like purpley ones that are like the weird in between. Yeah, yeah. Part of this color. Yeah, the dye is blending together. Color. Yeah, which actually, to be honest, like with crunch berries, those are my favorite ones when they're like, to me, they're like a little tie dye, a little swirled. Um, but yeah, so you do get actually more than just the oh. red and blue. You get kind of red, blue, and purple in the bowl. Yeah, it's the same thing. It's and it's um, very pastel looking. Yeah, I think that's yeah. the coating that makes it cool. That would make sense because like yours are a little yeah, a little brighter. Yeah, though. it looks like it's washed off. It definitely it's looks like off. they're not going for like a super intense, super deep color, which is good because dye flavor isn't super. But they are going for an intense feeling. And well, I can I can say it does cool your mouth a little bit, but are you feeling cool? No. Yeah, cool guy. I'd Super like cool. to think I am, but <laughs> I, I feel I think I'm a cool guy, and it do, and my mouth does feel cool when eating this cereal, <laughs> but this taste is not a cool. <laughs> it's not a. Would you call it a cool feeling? No. Uh, so yeah. it's whatever this is has a very strange bitter. Very medicine like flavor. Mm -hmm. And they it does seem like they, have, they do have some sort of very thick like flavor to the actual cereal. And I'm assuming that both of them taste the same. Yeah, I it's supposed to be um the red is supposed to be cherry and the blue is mm -hmm. supposed to be blue raspberry, which I believe are like the two classic colors. Yeah. Um, or flavors, I guess mm -hmm. you would say. Both. Mm -hmm. Um they also often will have a Coca-Cola, but they yeah. don't have that flavor. Uh, they both, they both taste the same here, <laughs> though. So I'm assuming they just take these two flavors because they're, you know, berry and they mm -hmm. okay. okay, but, I mean, the aftertaste gets a little better as you eat. I mean, it is a... No, 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 no. <laughs> Back. <laughs> Immediate self-contradiction. All right, well, I think that's as long as I can hold off from actually oh, trying, wow. <laughs> you know what? You know what, though? I respect you for that effort. <laughs> I made it this far. Half the time, perhaps? <laughs> All right, I'm going to try just the blue first. Uh, on the back of the box uh, is a little information. Uh, they have, like, a maze, and they also say for an even colder experience, put the bowl without milk in the freezer of cereal. Wait 30 minutes or more, then add milk and enjoy the super chill crunch. We did not do that. And we're not gonna do that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, we're not. I yeah, it's... Sure I'll have another bowl of this. Okay, so the plus side is it's not as strong as I thought it was gonna be. Yeah, and I feel like the last cereal that did this cooling thing was worse. Which I didn't even try that one because I don't believe that I was a reviewer for yeah, it. Yeah, I don't think so. I didn't want to try it. <laughs> I do not blame um, you. You got it now. <laughs> however, what I will say is I just had some of the blue. I had like three little not mm -hmm. crunch berries. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'll have a And you don't get the cooling effect at first. It's kind of like this lingering effect yeah. slash flavor. Yeah, like where? And to me, it's almost like, am I having an allergic reaction? <laughs> What's yeah, happening here? I don't care. Like for it's it. it's not super pleasant. Yeah, coupled with the taste, it just doesn't seem like an intentional thing. I feel like they just like figured out like some weird dye that cool, happens to cool your mouth, and they're like, you know, we can market this. I mean, the the outside of the cooling. The flavors of the cereal are actually kind of interesting because yeah. they do remind me of an icy. And at least having making it an icy makes it feel a little make makes it feel a little more but like sense. The cooling is. almost makes it like there's mint in it. Yeah. It, yeah. So speaking it's like of which. you had I don't know there was some toothpaste still in your mouth and you started eating your yeah. cereal like that's the kind of yeah. vibe that I get. Yeah. Or like you just did your Listerine mouthwash. And so your mouth is super minty, and then you're trying to eat your berry cereal, and it's just, it's odd. It's not yeah. great. So this cost is $5.29, a serving size, there's 10 <laughs> box servings per box, that's 52 cents. And then the, a serving size is one and a third cups, calories 130, Cla uh, 
Total carbs, 33. Oh, no, fuck it, man. Uh, and total sugar is at 14 grams. Okay. Time is and, up, you um, two. Go, go, go. Uh, one. Okay. It still wasn't as bad as Funko. But yeah. only just barely. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah one. Yeah. <laughs> but not zero. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everyone. We're still not big enough to be paid through YouTube, but you can always support the show by heading over to SeriouslyCereal.org. Because Seriously Cereal is safe for kids, YouTube turns off comments, but we love hearing from you. Go to SeriouslyCereal.org and click the mailbox. Write to us, and we might read your letter in a future episode. Watch Seriously Serial marathon episodes all month long, or explore our longer, regular episodes at SeriouslySerial.org. And be sure to tap that subscribe button so you never miss a race <laughs> episode. <laughs> See you guys next time. Bye. Start your day with silly and safe. Start your day with sassy and sage. Sincerely, simply, Seriously, cereal.